Welcome back to the Billy Corner. In today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to break like Shane. Shane Van Boning has been widely known as one of the best 10 ball breakers alive today. Shane's 10 ball break has allowed him to dominate many tournaments and frustrate players because he's so consistent. Breaking technique has been a very important role in modern day pool. Gone are the days where you hit the rack as hard as you can and hope something goes in. Many professionals nowadays have their own unique breaking technique where they can consistently pocket a target ball so they always have a shot after the break. Professional pool players have gotten so good nowadays that sometimes it only comes down to one mistake in the break to cost them the match. With all the introductions out of the way, I'm going to show you guys step by step on exactly how Shane Van Boning performs this 10 ball break. Shane Van Boning's break consists of four key principles. A consistent rack, pocketing the target balls, controlling the cue ball, and controlling the one ball. Now that you guys know the four key principles, let's go and talk about each one starting with a consistent rack. Having a consistent rack is really important here is because the reason Shane's break is so deadly is because he's able to consistently do it over and over again. And that's just not possible without a consistent rack. You can obtain a very consistent rack just by using a magic rack. Now if you're using a triangle like this, you want to make sure there's absolutely no gaps in rack and that you're racking the same every single time. The second key principle is pocketing the target balls. The target balls are always going to be the balls directly behind the one ball. In this scenario, it's going to be the eight and nine ball. The target balls are always going to head towards the side pocket and Shane is looking to pocket one of those balls in order to have a shot after the break. If done right, you would never have to give up the table after the break. I noticed whenever Shane went to break, he always placed a cue ball in between these two diamonds and as close to the head string as possible somewhere around here. There was slight deviation from where he placed it, but it generally was in this area. When you go to break, you want to make sure you hit the one ball as square as possible, just like this. You can have slight deviation and it'll still be okay, but if you deviate too much to the left or too much to the right, you're not going to pocket the target balls and you'll lose control of the cue ball. The third key principle is controlling the cue ball. If you watch Shane break, you'll notice that Shane only uses around 70 to 80% of his power for a nice controlled break. There really is no need to hit the cue ball as hard as you can as that can yield worse results. Shane's breaking technique is quite unique. He tends to choke up on the cue for a more compact stroke and just when he's about to fire, he'll start lifting up his body and level his cue as much as possible giving a massive follow through. Now I believe the reason Shane lifts his body up is so that his hand doesn't hit his body during his follow through stroke. This massive follow through allows him to pop the cue ball and he adds around half a tip of topspin in order to squat it right around the center of the table. The fourth key principle is controlling the one ball. If you followed all three key principles, the one ball should automatically head towards the opposite corner pocket that you're breaking from. Like I mentioned earlier in this video, Shane places the cue ball in between these two diamonds and as close to the head string as possible right around this area. Shane does this intentionally. By placing the cue ball right around this area and hitting the one ball head on, the one ball is always going to head towards this corner pocket and hover around it for an easy first shot. Having an easy first shot after every break is going to increase your run out percentage significantly. Let me go ahead and demonstrate the break for you guys. As you guys saw, I was able to consistently pocket at least one of the target balls in the side pocket. I was able to gently control the cue ball right around the center of the table, and the one ball always hovered at that corner pocket for an easy first shot. Shane said himself in an interview that he sometimes practices the break 8 to 10 hours a day, which is pretty insane. It's no wonder why he's so consistent. However, even Shane sometimes struggles to find his break during a match. This can be due to factors such as table conditions, humidity, how clean the balls are, and more. The key is being able to adjust this break with varying conditions. When you try this break yourself on a new table, you're going to want to vary the cue ball placement just slightly and also vary your power until you hit the break just perfect. Once you find that perfect spot, just keep doing over and over again and you'll yield consistent results like Shane Van Boning. Alright, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I spent many hours trying to perfect this break 
break and teach it to you guys. So make sure you hit the like button. If you guys want to see more pool content in the future, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.